What's happening, everybody? Kyle Steele, SEO expert, coming at you for whoop, whoop, deep tracks, running the big guns this week. Our digital marketing strategist, Dan Kearns. He is pumped up about the Cubbies. They're opening still in day. first place. They're still in first place this week. First place, opening day. Yeah. <laughs> He's ready, and they're playing in Miami, so they're not going to freeze their butts off. Uh, but it is a very beautiful day here in the firehouse here in historic Valley Junction. Got the SEO expert hats repping the gear. This week on One Minute Wednesday, what we talked about was uh, the, the difference between nurture versus now. So nurturing your audience, that's SEO is really going to play extremely well for that. Also, uh, you have the now type of buyers who need something right now. I talked about, you know, a tow service, maybe a bail bondsman. If my buddy's in jail, I'm not going to research the top 15 reasons why a bail bondsman is important. I just need to get him out. Now, having had to do that recently or in the past 20 years, I like to keep it that way for all my friends out there. So, Dan, we always say that SEO and SEM together is the perfect harmony of a digital strategy. And then you, you bring in your social advertising as well. Maybe talk about a little bit, you know, the SEO side of things on nurturing that audience. It's more of that long play for us. Yeah, SEO is definitely the long play. We see three to four months. It takes a little while to get that traffic up and going. Um, you know, SEM and SEO is great, but having SEO to nurture that audience and to really start gaining a lot of that share of voice online, really getting that traffic organically is, is really where we see a lot of success. Yep, absolutely. And that's, we, we practice what they call white hat. That's why I have the white hat for SEO expert. Uh, anybody uh, who's telling you that they can get you ranked on Google right away, uh, that's that's going to be true that they are, but then Google's going to come in and slap your hand, tell you, okay, you can't be doing that. And that's very unethical practices that you really don't want to follow. Buying links, you know, trading links online, un unsolicited websites, like it's just... Uh, we see a lot of people that go for the quick fixes, but it doesn't end up working in the long run. Nope. It's a it's a marathon, not a sprint, mm -hmm. right? And there's a lot of uh, tactics that people use to that are just unethical, and that, that's not the way that you want to go. Your company, you didn't build your company to be an unethical company. You built your company because you, know, you, you have those core values that you really subscribe to that you want your customers uh, to follow as well. So SEO, it's going to be the long play. It's going to give you lasting results. So essentially with, with SEM, search engine marketing or, or Google AdWords, there's also Bing ads. Don't underestimate Bing. Yeah. Here's, here's why. Because so many people buy a brand new Microsoft uh, enabled computer and it comes with Bing as the search engine and they don't know how to change that to Google. So uh, actually about what, 25 to 30 percent of searches are done on, on Bing, believe it or not. Yeah, we see a lot higher quality people coming in through Bing as well because they kind of were able to better match the target market. Microsoft Edge isn't the greatest search engine by any or the greatest <laughs> um, browser by any means, but the people who are using it, um, they're a lot more inclined to buy. So we see a lot better traffic coming off of that as well. Yeah, certainly. So, so search engine marketing, that's going to be more for your now type of product. So let's say that there's a, a trend that's growing. Let's say that on um, this cool beanie that Dan has on that I want to put an SEO expert logo on. Um, let's say that uh, a very famous actor had one of those hats on, right? Or, or a, a guy with a face made for radio is wearing an SEO expert hat and you want to find out where, where you can get one of those. That's where search engine marketing really plays well for, for your audience. Yeah, people looking for purchases that they can make right now or services that they need right now. Emergency services like plumbers, electricians, everything like that, that's, that's stuff people need right now. It's not something that they're going to read an article about, oh, why I need a good electrician. They're just going to need an electrician right now and that's where you can capitalize on Google AdWords and, and really digital advertising in general. That's right, because it's it's the nurture versus the now. Mm -hmm. And so, with, with of course, once again, with SEO, what you're going to do is that's the long play. So you're going to have those strategies in place so that when people do go to search, you're going to come up naturally, number one. But if, if you need some help, a little bit of uh, uh, 
shot of adrenaline in the arm to get your 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 business up there in, in the rankings um, now people do notice that it is an advertisement but if I need a tow and I'm on the side of the road I don't care if it's an advertisement or not I just want to get there and get there quickly and another thing is if you're out of market don't be paying for those ads out of market because that's actually bad for your brand recognition so let's say that you're in in Waterloo and I Google for, for a tow truck in Des Moines and you pop up and I call you and you're in Waterloo and there's no way for you to get there I, that's actually bad for your brand so you've got to think about the geofencing that, that you're, you're, you're going to be targeting to, your audience that you're targeting to. There's a lot of different factors that we can help you with to really go through and, and select that right, uh, that, that right marketing. Yeah, we see so many wasted marketing dollars for people who just don't have their targeting correct. Someone might not realize that the United States is their targeting market and they'll burn through their entire ad budget in a matter of hours. Whereas if they would have refined that target a little bit more to be just Des Moines, just Waterloo, just Iowa City, they could have gotten a lot better traffic out of it and pushed their dollars to a lot longer time period um, and seen more of a return on that investment. Yeah, and, and you know, even with you know, Facebook advertising, I, I, I think about that where I'm a diehard Bears fan, right? So is Dan. So we're both morons when it comes to football and we both like the Bears. But I get ads for Green Bay Packers Lambeau Stadium logos or, or, or Lego uh, structures. That is a total waste of your marketing dollars. In fact, I click on that ad six or seven times just to run up their ad budget because I'm actually so pissed that you targeted me with the Green Bay Packers Lambeau Stadium Lego set. I don't want that. It's well, just so easy to put in some exclusion targeting for other sports teams, you know, toss the bears in there, toss some fan pages in there. You know who you don't want to hit and you know the radius that you're going to be targeting in. So why even leave it up to chance that they're going to see something that they don't want? That's right. Cause you just paid maybe two, three, four dollars. You magnify that times a hundred people. You just blew through $500 and we hear from people all the time. We've tried that. It didn't work. Well, you, it does work. We're, we're living proof of that. It absolutely works, but you have to have your targeting down to a science. And that's where having somebody that's AdWord certified who knows about the advertising side on, on Facebook, on social, on, on, on Google, on Bing, right? Don't underestimate Bing. Microsoft has a lot of money and they throw it at Cortana on the voice side and they throw it at Bing as well. We've all seen the ads. Well, I hope that you've learned a lot bringing Dan the, Dan the man, the digital marketing strategist in for us. Uh, you know, I'm gonna put his information up here as well. He's AdWord certified, and he's also a diehard Cubbies fan, so if you just need some, some support from SEO expert in regards to your, your Cubby uh, fandom, uh, Dan can help you out there. Thanks for having me on, Kyle. Appreciate you being here, man. Till next week, Kyle Steele, SEO expert. Woo woo! Deep tracks. Peace.